The men come and go like the water, which sometimes is abundant and you want it to disappear, and other times it is lacking and we cannot live. That is how they are, like the water. They come and go. The rainy season will start very soon in the northern region of Mali. The waters of the dock of the Niger River at its passage through Mopti will be at its lowest point. It is a good time to catch the fish that spend the winter in the marshy area. To do so, it is necessary to burn the dry grass around it and get rid of some other bothersome inhabitants, the wasps. <laughs> This fish is not good. It has no flavor. Tomorrow the hospital will be overwhelmed by the people suffering intoxications caused by the bad fish. But these people do not find food every day. Mothers, children and entire families are willing to get sick as long as they are able to fill their stomachs. Every fish caught is a reason to celebrate. There are those that have perfected their methods, which include the ability to filter. But the smallest ones need to come together to create joint strategies. How can we talk to them about an adequate diet when their only desire is to satisfy their hunger? Today is Friday, the day of prayer, and the mosque will most likely be empty. Everyone will be at the dock. She will come visit us today. She will rise up from the depth of the water and join us. Mamiwata is the most powerful of all the goddesses, the queen of the water. In 
We summon her. We ask her to come and she does us favors. But if she decides to take your body, you cannot refuse. Abidjan is a small village located in the south of Ghana. Here on the banks of the Volta River, the kingdom of worship of Mamiwata is found. The Awe tribe named their village after its founder, Grandfather Abidjan. She lives in the water. She rarely leaves the water. And when she does, she enters our dreams. Her skin is white, like everything that comes from the water. Half man, half fish. It could be a woman or a man. She likes all shiny things, like gold. And her favorite colors are red and white. With the arrival of the first European boats to the Gulf of Guinea, the Africans discovered a new deity, the mermaids that decorated the figureheads of the bow. They called her Mamiwata, Mother Water, goddess of the waters that leads the armies of whitish beings, like the cadavers dragged by the sea. The veneration of water spirits is very ancient, but the worship of Mamiwata is linked to the arrival of the first Europeans. She is thankful when she is worshipped, evil if you offend her, and always capricious. We know when Mami Wata is close to our riverbank. Dead fish tend to appear floating on the surface. We do not eat these fish, or do we let children play with them? The mermaid is supposed to possess powers. And people who can commune with the mermaid can share in their power. I remember when Nkrumah, uh, our first president, there was a belief that he communed with the mermaid and even during elections, he can command or ask the mermaid to send uh, people to vote for him and then they return to the sea. Our ancestors are paid tribute. The smallest girls dress like they used to dress, without modern adornments, which we are familiar with today. These girls dance for our ancestors, who did not know the stories of the white man. Feta Totro is what the Awe call this festival. The entrance of a new female follower is celebrated with the appropriate rituals. She must be presented before Mami Wata according to how she likes to receive new souls, on a sacred chair and well-washed, powdered and perfumed.
I won't be afraid anymore. I left one life behind and I am starting another one at the service of a goddess.